what we also need very frequently is matrix multiplication. In DropMath there are only square matrices, which means there are only matrices that have the same amount of rows as they have columns. But if you have to deal with non-square matrices, there's a pretty neat trick to see really quickly if you can multiply it or not, which would be if you have matrix 1, which is a 2 by 3 matrix, and you want to multiply it with a matrix which is 4 by 3, the inner values right here, they don't match up, and that means you can't multiply, which means that's no good. But if you had, for example, a matrix 2 by 4 and want to multiply it with another matrix 4 by 3, these inner values here match up and you can multiply. And also the dimensions of the new matrix that would result are given by these outer values. So the result would be a matrix of the dimensions 2 by 3. That's a really quick trick that you can use to see if you can calculate the multiplication or not. We only use square matrices in drop math because you can actually fill in non-square matrices to make a square matrix um, for most applications, at least in computer graphics. And this is the topic that we are most interested in, but we will also discuss this later on. But now let's take a quick look at how to multiply two matrices together. So what we will do is always is calculate row by column. That is a rule and what that means is you need to multiply one by one to get the first value one by one and then you add two times five plus two times five is ten which would give us a value of eleven as our first value. And then we rinse and repeat that. So we do 1 times 2, which is 2, plus 2 times 2, which is 4. So the result is 6, 6. And then we do 3 times 1, which is 3, and then 4 times 5, which is 20. And then we have 23 as a result. And then we do 3 times 2, which is 6. And then 4 times 2, which is 8. So we have 14 in sum. Yeah. That would be our resulting matrix. So much for the theory. So let's take a look. How we can do that in DropMath. And to multiply two matrices together, we can just do because you can you can think of these matrix multiplications as an applica an application to a vector or in this time to uh, to another matrix and the operation order actually stems from function notation. So we apply, you can think of this, for example, as an f, as a function, and this as an x, that is the input of this function. So if we would take in a vector, a vector, which is just uh, a two by one matrix, I'm sorry, let's erase that. Um, you, can, you can see that the result will also be another matrix again, uh, another vector again. So we don't have it overloaded to just to make it clear that um, we actually um, apply this um, matrix to this uh, input K. But it's nothing else than um, a matrix multiplication and we will take a look at what that means exactly for our vectors later on. I first want to cover some basic arithmetic basically. So now that we have, cal have that calculated, we can also output it again. like that. Now we can translate it again for the computer to read. And that is our resulting matrix. 